Are you taking a trip to Mexico? Then there are a few things you should know and we will be giving you some valuable tips and tricks. Whether you are driving, taking a cruise, or flying, and whether you are just visiting, planning to move there, or already living there, then you will definitely need to watch this video. Mexico is a very dissimilar culture from the US and Canada. The way society is at your home is vastly different from Mexico. We're going to help you navigate etiquette, money, and a few other disgusting things you need to know. No worries, after you watch this video to the end, you will have an understanding of the basic do's and don'ts to help you enjoy your time in Mexico. Mexico is a polite and formal society. When you encounter someone at a hotel desk, a restaurant, or on the street, it is always best to begin with the appropriate greeting of Buenos Dias, Buenas Tardes, or Buenas Noches. Always begin with the greeting followed by the question, statement, or conversation. It is also common practice as a greeting passing someone on the street. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. This etiquette is common even among life partners. Buenos dias, amor. Do not begin a conversation without the greeting first. Throw TP in the trash. This is a simple but a hard habit to change. In Mexico, you do not throw toilet paper or any objects other than human waste into the toilet. There will be a trash can next to the toilet for depositing of your toilet paper and feminine products. This is applicable to nearly every place you visit with the exception of a few five-star hotels. Sometimes there is a sign in the bathroom, but not always. When you see a trash can next to the toilet, that is for your teepee. You may even encounter a five-star restaurant without a toilet seat. Things are just different here. Money exchange. Always withdraw your money out of a Mexican bank ATM. The exchange rates through Casa de Cambio are poor. So are the exchange rates through the store, restaurant, bar, and hotel, which are terrible. You will save a significant amount of money by withdrawing directly from a Mexican bank ATM called Cajero. If you do a little research before you leave on your trip, you will save even more. Most US and Canadian banks have a Mexican sister bank at which you will receive better exchange rates and lower transaction fees. You can find the sister bank on your bank's website. Do not use individual ATMs in bars, on cruise ships, or ones labeled dollars. Also, do not pay for anything in dollars as you will receive a poor exchange rate. The same applies to credit and debit cards at places that accept them. Do your best to pay in cash in Mexican pesos. The airports now have ATMs from most Mexican banks, so you can withdraw when you get off your flight. Stores don't have change. Often you will go to a local store and they will not have change for your Mexican peso. For example, a common size peso bill is called 500 or 500 pesos, which is currently about 27 USD and is considered a large bill in Mexico. This is never a problem in the tourist areas, but it is common if you go to a local store, restaurant, or bar. They may not have change for such a large bill. This is an easy problem to solve since there are convenience stores called OXO located everywhere which are similar to 7-Eleven or AMPM. Just go to anyone nearby and make a small purchase to break your 500. Now you have change to purchase at any of the local, more interesting shops and restaurants. While you watch the dogs playing, please allow us a moment to show our appreciation. Pooperhead Monkey and I really do appreciate you. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Those three little things allow us to keep making videos for you. If you feel like joining us, we have a paypal.me page and visit our official store for some creative products. Both links are below in the description. 
Speed bumps. If you are driving or renting a car, here is a word you should never forget. Tope means speed bump, and Mexico is littered with them. Most of them lack a sign and or are not painted. They are unmarked. You could be driving on a highway and hit a set of topes that are black, just like the highway. Unpainted, with no signs, no warnings. Not good for your car, not good for your heads. You really have to pay attention when driving in Mexico. Not driving? No problem. Tipping. The subject of tipping can be a controversial subject, especially for expats. So we have an entire video dedicated to tipping in Mexico. In this video, we're going to focus on tipping for visitors according to the customs of the people that live here. These rules are a generalization. Before we get into actual numbers, let's discuss the expectations in service beginning with restaurants. In Mexico, your server is expected to take your food and drink order and serve it to you. Anything else, you are expected to ask for it. You will need to get the attention of your server and ask for what you want. This includes the check. It is not customary for the server to approach your table frequently as it is considered disturbing you. Of course, if you are dining in the tourist areas, your service may be similar to your home country. With that in mind, it is customary to tip 10% of the total bill. In the rare case you receive exceptional service, 15% is traditional. Know this, all restaurant workers share the tips. Wait staff, bartenders, and dishwashers share and receive the same cut, which is distributed by the management or owners. So if you want to leave a large tip for your attractive server, keep in mind he or she will be sharing it with all the workers. Mexicans generally do not tip taxi and Uber drivers or food delivery drivers, which is usually included in the purchase price and states on the app. They do occasionally round up. For example, if your tab is 94 pesos, they will give 100. They do not tip hairdressers, nail salons, restaurant takeout, nor coffee shops unless you have a server. If you are staying in a hotel, the bellboy gets about 10 pesos per bag. Here are some customary tips you probably did not know about. If you go to a grocery store, there are several positions which live on tips. These positions are almost always occupied by the elderly and are considered kind of a retirement pension, if you will. First, you have your grocery baggers who may or may not bag your groceries. In many cities, there are no bags, so they just put your things back into the cart. It is customary to give them a few pesos for their service. Don't over tip here, they actually do very well financially. As you head out to your car with your cart, you will find the cart retrievers. They may help you to your car or just help you unload when you get to your car, but they do expect a small tip. The same applies to the parking help. They will help you back out of a space, even though my modern car has 360 degree cameras, for a few pesos. When it comes to shopping, be prepared to bargain. It is common practice in Mexico and vendors expect it. Remember to be fair and respectful in your negotiations. Food and water in Mexico. Mexican cuisine is world renowned. If you didn't know this, the food in Mexico is fantastic. Always opt for freshly made food and as most of you probably already know, tap water is not safe for drinking. Always drink bottled water. For the majority of people, you will be able to eat anywhere, including street food, which is some of the best. Just use common sense when shopping for your meal. Mexico is a beautiful country with amazing people and unforgettable experiences waiting to be discovered. With these tips in mind, you'll be sure to have a safe and rewarding adventure. We greatly appreciate any and all support. In addition to our paypal.me at Traveling with Dogs Mexico, here is a link to our new store offering Traveling with Dogs products, including coffee mugs, hats, doggy bandanas, cooking aprons, shirts, hoodies, baby gear, and more. 
Thank you for watching. Que te vaya bien.